challenge there in just containing him and keeping him from rushing so much like he's done this year? Yeah, you just really got to look at their attack, you know, and there's two parts to it, the run game and the pass game. And, um, you know, you have to adapt to a unique team in a way. They're so good at running the ball, and he is a threat, so you have to have people on him. Does it help that you played against Lamar Jackson? I don't know if that's the exact same type of player. but There, there is some carryover, but different. But, yes, there is some. How do you think Kyle played in the nickel, and then what do you appreciate just about how he stayed invested over the last few weeks despite not yeah. playing? That's a good question. You know, the real thing is, you know, we played as a team, you know, all phases. You know, there's some veteran leadership on this team that is helping all the new faces that are coming into the lineup. And every, every position on this team has had new players. And when you can go play at a high level like that with new players, it means your veterans are doing something and you're teaching. You know, it's coming together no matter who it is that would come into the lineup. And, um, you know, the one true theme is all our young players are getting better. And all our veteran players are helping our young players. But week to week, you see, you know, the Coopers and the Barons, and you know, just right on down the line, they're 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 getting better. And in that game, you know, also, you know, our offense had such a huge huge role. They held the ball for 40 minutes. They put up 30 points, rushed the ball. We got off the field, but they also did their part. So, uh, answering your question with Kyle, uh, it's just a guy that had a crash course. He'll play in there some this week as well, and. Uh, you know, it's, it's just the veterans pulling together. He's, he's a veteran player, but he's a new player at a position. So it was the people around him that helped him and his experience. What was the difference, if any, without Vaughn last week? I, I don't really know because we did it the, the, the week before. You know, he's been a great contributor for us. You know, it, people make a lot of talk about that. But I think any time, you know, a quality player or, or a guy that's a contributor steps out of lineup, everybody feels like they got to pull together a little bit. And sometimes it pulls you together. And again, it's uh, every time, you know, something happens, it's an opportunity for a young player. And you saw our young guys just keep getting better and they're learning and they're learning from their experiences and, you know, the arrows pointing up. You mentioned a lot of new faces. What was the biggest growth you saw from Barron and Kenny as an inside backer tandem uh, after having the week? Yeah, they just were more sure of themselves. You know, it's, it's really, uh, you know, as a coach, you know, I, I wouldn't be telling you the truth if you weren't worrying when guys have so few reps together. And, you're, and the, the biggest concern is the communication that would go on. And then with another week, and, and we have no time to relax right now. We're still a work in progress at every position on our Ds right now. So, um, yeah, we're, we're still working. And uh, we're always hopeful that it can come out as good as it did last week. But we got to invest in the processes that we have every single day out here to uh, play to that standard. Yeah, you know, it, it was a hell of a, hell, hell of a, you know, Vic got the guys in there for the first one, and we had a really good call up there. Great play by Justin. But that, that, that sent a, you know, boost of confidence to everybody. You know, it charged up our whole team on the first one. We had, had a couple of them. Um, again, we got off the field, and our offense held the ball, and, you know, that's pretty much the story. How is, how, I don't know. I don't know what I, I surely was animated somewhere in my body. I mean, because you know, that that's got to affect you as a coach. But it was just really any time teamwork comes together. You know, we we get the design, and then you practice it, and it's hopeful that that opportunity in the right moment comes up. And when that does, you know, it feels pretty good. You mentioned some of the, the rookies that you guys have playing out there. Yeah. Barron and Pat, Kate. I mean, the list goes on. What can that do for young players when coaches show that confidence? In I think it's it, it's it's a two way process. You know, they know we're trusting them. They, they're trusting in our teaching. It's really bright for the future. You know, to have that many rookies, there's probably not that many start. You no, know, too many places around the league, and you know, every week we're trying to play well, and and uh, we have to be on our game to do that. How much does it help when you got new guys in the middle and a bunch of young guys to have <laughs> the two safeties you have and Shelby and Draymond who's been around now for a while to kind of balance it out? Yeah. Those are the guys. When you look at the guys that have been our producers, and you know, Kareem and Justin, you know, they're the guys that are the catchers. They're the last guys seeing it, and um, they they just do little things that nobody would notice to help f fix and make things right. You know, and again, the more exchange you see in practice, when you see them talking to Kenny, and they're just feeling things out and trying to get more direct and precise in everything we're doing. How much? 
Yeah, people ask that. I, I don't know uh, the answer to that. I just know that we've got a couple pretty good games out of him, and that's all really counts. And the arrow's going up because he's a professional. He's very serious about what he's doing. Um, and he, there's, you know, he sees there's no time to relax. You know, every opponent has a new challenge, and this league is hard. So, uh, really, all the emphasis is on our processes and our preparations. Any more reminders or emphasis <laughs> So yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. We're, we're constantly doing that, and you just got to be smart with it. You know, it's a real balance. We want our guys to show emotion and joy and everything. They just got to be mindful of how they're doing it, and because uh, that's part of the game, that's part of us. But uh, again, I just think it's a day and age where you got to be smart. They're trying to clean up the game, and and um, we got to adjust to that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we like Mac. You know, he's a good athlete, fits in with our people, hard worker. We think there's a high end to it. You know, he's very raw. And um, we thought he could come back here. You know, we thought he could circle back, and we wanted to get him back. So how that's is, good. How has Darby been playing since he got back from injury? Yeah, better and better. Better and better. You see the speed and explosion. Had a couple of nice plays down the field, you know, uh, last week. But uh, really pleased. But, again, everybody's just trying to get better, you know. Thank, Thank you, guys. guys. Thanks,